Hey day there, once again viewers, this is your mate Kamikaze78 here, Come to you guys with some more Planet Side 2 content. Today folks, we're going to be getting another dose to satisfy our weapon junkie side with another episode of the Quartermasters Overview. This is the series where we take a look at a certain faction's class of weapons and give each one a brief overview regarding its capabilities, strengths and weaknesses without diving into the nitty gritty details. Because let's be honest, who wants excessive numbers? Oh, some of you do. Well, for you stats lovers out there, each weapon we mentioned in today's video will have a corresponding guide in the description down below, whether it be a video from myself or from a fellow content creator in the Planet Side 2 community. So there's that. Today, we are going to be getting into the NC carbines as per your guys' votes. So without further ado, let's get our butts into gear and start looking at some weapons. The AF-19 Mercenary, I dare you, bring me a more appreciated weapon that's currently in use on Araxis. I double dare you, damn it. The AF-19 Mercenary is the standard issue carbine available to NC Light Assaults and Engineers. And all I can say is that NC Light Assaults and Engineers have it very lucky because this is one hell of a weapon. Its hard hitting damage profile in combination with its controllable recoil pattern makes it a weapon that can reach out and embrace the TR and VF with the values of freedom even at medium ranges, and can wipe targets clean off of the map at close ranges. And as a new player that's coming into the game, this is an absolute must have. This weapon does have a tendency to fall short in engagements against other weapons that are designed for the range of engagement, but as a starter weapon, this is as good as you can get. It's quite possibly the best starting weapon available in the game. The Gauss Compact S is the AF-19 mercenary that just couldn't quite decide what it wanted to be when it grew up. It looked at being a CQC carbine, but that didn't work out too well, so after a quick midlife crisis it became a more controllable version of the AF-19 mercenary, but in doing this, it sacrificed some rate of fire to make it less potent at close quarters engagements, meaning that if you struggle with the recoil of the mercenary but like its overall design, then this is a weapon that might be a decent choice for you. The Gauss Compact S also comes with a vast range of attachment options, including the underbarrel shotgun, grenade, and smoke launcher, giving this weapon some auxiliary use on the side. Nothing quite like tricking your enemy into thinking that you have a carbine when BAM! You send them to the next dimension with your underbarrel shotgun. But if you like the mercenary and can control its recoil, then you might want to give this one a skip. Do you like being able to really, really, really know where your shots are going? Then you are going to love the Gauss Compact Burst. Take the Mercenary and lock it down to a burst fire mode and then you have the Gauss Compact Burst. Fairly self-explanatory. This is a carbine that you take when you favor long range precision over anything, as scoring headshots is a breeze with this weapon if you can keep the crosshair on target. However, obviously, this is not a weapon to go blasting into CQC with due to the well, burst fire mode. As a light assault on a rooftop, this will be a weapon to suit you just fine as you pick heads from a decent distance. As an engineer that is supporting a max suit that is charging into a control point, this is a weapon that's going to do absolutely jack shit for you. Okay, so we've talked about versions of the Mercenary that are designed for longer distance engagements, but let's just say you are interested in the other side of the spectrum. You like the Mercenary, you think it's a great weapon, but you wish it just had a little bit more going for it in close quarters combat. Not so much to the point where it loses all of its capability at range, but just enough to the point where you can be a little bit more competitive in the close quarters arena. I bring to you the AF-4A Bandit. This is a version of the AF-19 Mercenary that comes with a 075 times aiming down sights movement multiplier. Now what does that mean, I hear you all asking? Well, this basically means that this is a carbine that will move as fast as a shotgun or an SMG while you aim down the sights, making this weapon extremely powerful for strafing corners in close quarters combat. All the while keeping that out of the box adaptability trait that comes from the much loved mercenary. This is an absolute must have for people who like the fast paced mobility that comes from a shotgun or an SMG, yet at the same time like the adaptability of a carbine. Thank you. 
If the JD-7F were to be explained in a short sentence, that sentence would read the mag dump weapon of the new conglomerate. This is the fastest firing NC carbine of the bunch, bringing a blitzing 845 rounds per minute to the table, making this the go-to weapon if you favour rate of fire over damage per bullet. Don't let the rate of fire fool you, however. Trigger discipline is a must with this weapon, as it is far too easy to dump the majority of your magazine into one target and not leave enough ammo for the next target that is sure to take his place. And considering that this weapon does come with a very, very lengthy reload, the last thing you want is to get caught out while reloading. However, with the right trigger discipline, you have a weapon that is easily able to take down multiple targets quickly in breakneck speeds. Just be sure to have a safe place to fall back to for that very lengthy reload time once again. Now let's jump over to the other side of the fence for a little bit, shall we? The ACX-11, or what I consider to be the bipolar opposite of the GD-7F. Now I think it's fair to say that this is the NC carbine that takes the role of an NC scientist's wet dream. How do I come to this conclusion? Well, this is a weapon that takes the NC's agenda of heavy hitting weapons to a whole new level by offering a damage profile of 200 maximum, making this the hardest hitting weapon per bullet of the NC carbine range. If you really have to hit that enemy out at range with dumbbells moving at super speeds, then this is the weapon for you. However, with that in mind, get ready to control an intense recoil kick per shot, I'm talking the highest in class for the NC carbines here, and if you want to get up close and personal with your enemies, be sure to land your hits, because if you miss, this weapon is very unforgiving in CQC. If you hit them, however, well, you're just going to knock them clean out, plain and simple. If you hit your rounds, then you're going to do well. If not, you're in for a bad time. Now, let's just say that none of these options have appealed to you thus far. Firstly, I've got to say that you're a hard customer to please, but as the saying goes, there is something for everyone, and this is where the Razer GD23 comes into play. Do you want a fully automatic weapon that comes with practically no recoil? Then this is a weapon not to miss, as this is by far the most accurate weapon of the selection as far as recoil intensity goes. Hell, if you mount a flash suppressor on this weapon, it is quite possible you will forget that you were even firing the weapon in the first place. That's how light the recoil is. That said, much like the ACX-11, this is a weapon that isn't very forgiving if you miss your target, so making sure that you use that accuracy to the best of your ability is an absolute must. And folks, with all that said, that wraps up today's episode of the Quarter Masters Overview as we have now gotten through all of the NC Carbines. If you guys enjoyed today's video, if you found it informative or anything of anything of the sort, feel free to backhand the like button on this video, it would be greatly appreciated. If you find yourself backhanding that like button and you're new to the channel, feel free to backhand that subscribe button while strategic to keep up to date with the content in which I release here on this channel. If you guys have any feedback for today's video, feel free to drop it down in the comment section down below. And as per always, guys, my social social media links as well as a voting slip for what faction of carbines you'd like to see reviewed next in this series are located in the description down below. Once again guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, peace out, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Have a good one.